Hey there, Mustangs. Welcome to school for the week of August 31st. Let's start off the week with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Job well done. Let's see what's happening at Westlake this week. Thanks for the update. We kicked off the beginning of the year with one of our favorite traditions. Let's see some highlights. Life is so short and oh so sweet. Life in the sun is such a treat. Do what you want to do. I'll stay in the view. Don't let it pass you by. No point in feeling blue. Our days are only few. Make your dreams come alive. Smile. Congratulations to all those winners of those must-have boxes. Last week we had our first virtual Mustang Musings assembly. Let's have a recap. Here's to the crazy ones. The misfits. The rebels. The troublemakers. The round pegs in the square holes. The ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them. Because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Last Thursday, we finished the week with our first Mustang Musings assembly. We learned what it means to be STEM crazy. The C means we are curious. The R means we are respectful. The A means we are accountable. The Z means we are zero quitting. And the why is a reminder that it all starts with you. We took a moment to discuss the room flow map and we emphasized how important it is to use doorways two and four, in addition to doorway three, when we re-enter building one. Social distancing starts with you deciding to go where the crowd is not. We next discussed the tardy system that begins today each student should receive a similar ID badge. Remember, you must wear your ID badge at all times while at Westlake. And it's your driver's license for important privileges like hall passes and cell phones in the hallways and at lunchtime. The quicker you get to each class, the more crazy points you will earn. We reviewed four key reminders about how to keep each other safe from the coronavirus while we are at school. We can keep each other safe by washing our hands regularly with soap and water for 20 seconds. By keeping six feet away from others as often as you can. 
by covering your nose and mouth by wearing a mask, and by staying home when you are feeling sick. We talked about distance learning and how important it is for everyone to be ready to continue learning from home. Make sure you have a device you can use at home. If you don't, have a parent come check one out from the school. Watch for the weekly email of instructions from your teachers. Email your teachers with any questions. Check gradebook consistently to know what you are missing. And starting this week, you can even join the live stream of your classes using Google Meet and the simple Google Meet codes of WL and then your teacher's last name. We did a quick handbook minute in which we discussed cell phones and part of the dress code. We emphasized the importance of cell phones not being on your person while in class. Since we can't use our cell phone pouches right now, you must keep your cell phones stored away in your yellow Westlake bag. Also, students should not take pictures or videos with cell phones while at school without the express permission of a teacher. We also discussed bottoms and tops of dress code. Pants, shorts, overalls, and skirts need to ride at the natural waist so that the underclothing, such as underwear and gym shorts, is not visible. Skirts, dresses, and shorts cover at minimum half of the thigh. Pants with large slits, tears, or see-through panels over the same exposed area of the, high of the thigh are restricted. Slits in dresses or skirts should not extend above mid-thigh, and pajama bottoms are not allowed. All tops must have sleeves that cover the shoulder completely. Tops may not be or have sheer or see-through panels. No tank tops or spaghetti straps are permitted unless worn with a t-shirt or top that meets the dress code. The style of clothing must be modest enough to cover all underwear, bra straps, and cleavage. The length of the tops should be long enough to tuck in or cover the waistline of the pants or skirt. No bare stomachs, even when arms are raised above the head. We'll do our next Mustang Musings Assembly this Thursday at 7.55 a.m. We'll see you there. So fun. What a great first week of school. Keep up the great work, Mustangs. Let's head now to a community council for an announcement. School community councils are elected parent or guardian and employee representatives who work together with the principal to increase student achievement. The council is responsible to review school data and develop plans for school improvement. We invite you to become involved in Westlake's community council by declaring your candidacy. This form needs to be returned to Mr. Howe by 3 p.m. on September 8, 2020. Thanks, Mustangs. Awesome. Remember to turn in your candidacy papers to Mr. Howe by 3 p.m. on September 8th. Our amazing counselors have an announcement. Let's head now to the Counseling Center. Hello Westlake, welcome to the second week of school. We are the school counselors and want to introduce ourselves. But first, you might be asking yourself, what does a school counselor do? One thing a school counselor does is work with students to make sure you're taking all the right classes. This is very important because in a few years you'll be in high school. We want to make sure you're ready. We meet with all 7th and 8th graders to do what's called a college and career readiness meeting. And we'll talk to you about your interests and options for after high school. A school counselor is someone you can talk to if you're having a bad day or just need someone to talk, come see us. So let's meet your school counselors. Hi, I am Miss Shea. My alpha goes from A through the letter H. Then if your last name starts with A through the letter H, you'll be my student. And something important or special about me is that I love studying names. Then if you like to know the meaning of your name, stop by the, my office and I'll be glad to help you. Hi, my name is Mrs. Begay and I am your counselor if your last name is I through N-A. Um, please come by and see me or you feel free to give me an email or a phone call. Nice to meet you. Hey Mustangs, I'm Mrs. Ramis and welcome to my messy office. I am the school counselor for the students with the last name N-E through Z. 
Super excited to see you guys all this year. And one unique thing about me is, hello, I am a huge Dodger fan. I love baseball. My kids play baseball. So if you want to come down and talk baseball or anything, come down and see me. Again, my alpha is N-E through Z. Hi, Mustangs. I'm Dr. R. Really excited to be here this year and working with you guys. Um, I'm the school psychologist. And what that means is I get to work with students to, to help them work through any social emotional problems that they're having, as well as I do psychological testing here and support uh, a lot of students. So um, if you're needing any help, come find me. I'm in the counseling center. One big question we get is how to contact your school counselor. You can stop by between class or you can find our email on the school webpage. Students, today and tomorrow are the last days that you can email your counselor about requests for schedule changes. Don't forget, schedule change requests will cost $5. We're so excited for a historic year and can't wait to get to know all of you. Thanks, counselors. Let's go now to Ms. Luther for a reminder on our COVID code. Hey, mighty Mustangs. This is Mrs. Luther. I am your COVID queen. Let's talk about a few ways that we can keep sa staying safe during COVID. First of all, let's talk about social distancing. This was our first week of school and I was noticing that a lot of you are doing great. You are looking down at the X's in the lunchroom. You are trying to social distance, spread out. The further we can spread out, the less likely it is that the breath from, from you can get onto the face of someone else and they can breathe that in. Please remember to social distance. I don't want to see a lot of people grouped up together, spread apart. The next thing I want to address is masks. This is the proper way to wear a mask. It is covering my nose and it's covering my chin. Sometimes I get a little hot. This is the bad way. This is not the good way to wear a mask. You cannot be showing your nose. This is not okay. You need to cover your nose and cover your mouth. Thank you so much. COVID queen out. Thank you and remember Mustangs, always keep to the COVID code. Let's go now to Principal Hal for distance learning instructions for this week. Hey there, Mustangs. As we discussed in our assembly last week, this week we are adding another layer for our distance learners. Um, now, distance learners might include all of us at some point, so this is good for everybody, whether you're in person or at home, for you to pay attention to. This week we begin in all the classes that it's um, feasible and applicable to do a live stream via Google Meet. All of you have a Granite SD webpage. If you click on that little waffle shape in the top right hand corner of Google Docs or your Gmail, um, one of the options that comes up is Google Meet. The second you go in there, you need to put in a code. In almost every case, the code is WL for Westlake and your teacher's last name. The only exceptions to that is we happen to have two Mrs. Reynolds. So for those two, you would need to do for um, our English teacher, Mrs. Reynolds, Mrs. Reynolds, or sorry, WL Reynolds CA. And for our math teacher, Mrs. Reynolds, WL Reynolds LI. Um, and those are included on our website in case you need a reminder for those. Um, those will be live streamed and you're welcome to join in and watch those um, either synchronously, that means at the same time, or you can get snippets of it asynchronously, that means at a different time or more on demand. Hey there Mustangs, we are so excited about this new platform that you get to use to have class with your teachers. And with any classroom, we have some sort of norms and expectations that we would like you to follow. So the first one is, find a quiet place without a lot of movement and noise if possible. Be mindful of your background. The second one is sign in at the start time. Try to be on time, just like a normal class. Third is be aware that all school Google Meets are recorded. The nice thing about that is sometimes you can go back and review if you wanna um, see something again. Number four, general crazy expectations will apply to all Meets. So be curious, be respectful, accountable, zero quitting, and it all starts with you. Number five, school appropriate language and behavior at all times. Number six, keep the microphone muted. It should stay off unless you are called on by the teacher. That's so we only hear one voice at a time and we can be respectful. And then lastly, students who do not comply with these expectations will be removed from the class meet. Have fun, Mustangs. That's it for us. Thanks for watching. This is Mustang Media.